Quick tutorials. We don't waste time. Speed in Premiere. This tutorial is all about slow motion and changing speed in Premiere, which is kind of basic, but let's face it, you suck at this program. You do, which is why you have me. So I'm hoping you're smart enough to figure out how to open up the program on your own. I also left the link to download this file below so you guys can practice. Before you proceed. If you really want that great slow motion that it isn't all choppy, then shoot at 60 frames per second. That way, when you slow the speed down to only 40%, it turns into regular old 24 frames per second footage. And it looks really smooth. Really easy tip to get rid of that really amateur looking problem. Let's say we have this beautifully composed shot filmed by an intelligent, handsome, funny, not to mention powerful videographer. Let's say we want this at half speed. Right click, go to speed duration and enter 50% which will bring it down to half speed. If you don't want to get that really deep no in your clip then check this so that the pitch doesn't change. Great. Now you're a premiere master. Let's say there's another clip later on down the road. So we have the clip we want and we're changing the speed. Oh, what's this? What's this right here? Our clip got cut off. And that's because when you change the speed of the clip and it goes beyond the boundaries of the space you have there, it won't overwrite the clip next to it. It'll still be the correct speed, it just won't show all of the clip. I always drag my clip way off, change the speed, and then drag the ends in around the part that I want to keep, or just chop them off, do whatever. But once I figure out what part I want, I slide it back into place. Pro tip. The easiest way of all to do this would be to put the clip where you want it at normal speed, say like right here, and let's say we want it to fill exactly this hole. Press X to bring up the time stretch tool and just drag it until it snaps. It's not going to be exactly 50% or, or 60 whatever you want, but if you don't really care the exact percentage of speed you're getting, then it's a really easy way to just close a gap. I use it all the time. Comment on what you think my next tutorial should be below. Mm, this has been a quick tutorial. My name is Alex Harris. Huh?